Hello and welcome to Around the Wickets on the Papre.com. And it's been another interesting week uh, in the cricket field. The Sri Lanka vs England ODI series kicked off uh, last evening as well. And uh, I have Farviz Maharuf with me, the former Sri Lankan all-rounder, once again uh, to discuss uh, about what happened during the past week and to preview uh, for the coming week as well. Welcome to the show, Maha. Thank you, Roscoe. Yes, sir. Let's start off with the first ODI. Uh, unfortunately, the weather interrupted and there was plenty of rain in Dambul and the game uh, could not go ahead. Only 15 overs were bowled. England were 92 for 2 uh, when, rain, uh, when the heavens opened up. And uh, Nuan Pradeep and Akhila Dhananje were the wicket takers uh, for Sri Lanka. Uh, unfortunately, there was uh, no game. Uh, what are your thoughts about the playing 11 in that game, Maha? Uh, I thought uh, it was a positive call playing uh, just five five recognized batsmen and playing two all-rounders in Dasun and Thisara and both playing four recognized bowlers. That's a positive call because, you know, I'm, I'm in, in my opinion, they played four bowlers to take wickets in the middle. That's what we, will, we were lacking in the last couple of years. We didn't take uh, wickets in the middle. And now the cricket, how the one day, one day goes, is you have to take uh, wickets in the middle. And so having Sandakan and uh, Akira Dhananja, two mystery bowlers, I mean, if England don't pick them and if if those two bowl well in tandem, I think uh, we will have a good chance. And also, you know, by bowling first was all because of the weather. Because I think I still we have to bat first and put the runs on board. And because our, our strength is bowling now, because with Lassie is back, two mystery spinners. So I think it, it's very important that we put up runs first. But looking at the weather these days, I understand why they wanted to chase. But overall, positive call. Positive call, which the management backs, which you have to give the credit to them. And hopefully our batsmen will deliver so that our bowlers will have something to bowl at. Yes, and uh, there was another interesting selection from the England camp uh, yesterday. Adil Rashid and Muin Ali have been their main spinners, but they added Liam Dawson uh, in that playing eleven as well. What are your thoughts on that selection? I think the first time they have picked three spinners. I mean, never seen an England team uh, playing three spinners. So, they are going horses for courses. So, I think uh, you know, they are batting heavy, but the bowling good as well with Ben Stokes. The, Oli, or the debutant Oli Stone, I've seen him bowl in the practice match. It's quite nippy. And you've got uh, Mark Wood, uh, Chris Wokes, all these guys vying for a place. And I mean, overall, England team is a very solid team. I mean, let's give them that. They're easily the number one team uh, with performance as well as in paper. But uh, I mean, if you look at, if you look at Alex Hales, he's not playing him. I mean, he's a, he, and he's a batsman who will walk into most of the teams in the world. And he can't just get a place in the uh, England team. That shows how competitive the team has been. So I think overall we are in for a fight, but I think if we score runs, we put runs on the board, we have the bowling attack to uh, counter-attack and get them out. Yes, most certainly it will uh, be a very good series to look forward to. And uh, Sri Lanka cricket have also obtained the services of Dr. <coughs> Phil Johnsey. Uh, he's an Australian-based performance psychologist uh, for this England series. And interestingly, interestingly rather, it will be his third stint uh, in Sri Lanka as well. He has held two sessions with the team in January and May. Uh, what are your thoughts on that uh, selection? I think it's, uh, it's a good move. I mean, that's what uh, Chandik Hathur Singh, uh, you know, uh, backs himself. I mean, he, the doc Dr. Pill has come uh, twice before. And I remember personally, when I played uh, during 2005 to 2007, when Tom Moody was coaching, which, you know, at that time, we uh, got a psychologist called Dr. Sandy Gordon from Perth. And it actually worked. I mean, I worked with him for three years and I actually benefited with the one-on-one session, -on -one sessions what we had, even the team sessions what we had. So similarly, if the guys can get the positive out of Dr. Pill, you know, get your, get your head dry. I mean, it's all about mental. Cricket is all about mental. Physical will look after itself. Technical will look after itself. How we prepare mentally, performing at this level, which is important. And that's exactly what I think Chantik is trying to do. I mean, hats off to him. He's, he's, he's been uh, using Dr. Phil for a long time, even before... Uh, he took up Sri Lankan uh, coaching role. He was working with him uh, before as well. So, something good for Sri Lanka cricket, definitely. Because personally, I have worked with the psychologists before and it worked. So, the, uh, the guys who are in the, in the system now should get the maximum out of it and get the mental preparations right. Because technical and physical uh, uh, you know, side of it will take care of it being a professional. But how you, how you focus, how you set up goals, that's what Dr. Phil's job would be. Yes, and the second ODI is uh, set for this Saturday at the same menu in Dambulla. Do you think uh, Sri Lanka will make any changes for that game? At the day game, I think it will be the same. Pro most probably because playing two spinners during a day game is a must for me. And with Dhananji, you got three. So, you know, I mean, uh, it's unfair to change any teams unless 
you know, there'll be short, rain shortened game uh, for about 25 over, 30 over game. Then technically you might do a, one or two changes, but if you have 50 over, full 50 over game, I mean, I don't think, uh, I don't see any of the teams will, uh, you know, uh, change anything because it will be very unfair on the players. Yes, and also there has been plenty of rain uh, around the country. And uh, do you think uh, the scheduling of these matches uh, were a bit of an issue? I mean, that can be something to debate of, but I mean, they planned this about three, four months ago. I mean, generally the monsoon season, as far as I know, mon uh, in September it finishes. But unfortunately, it's dragging uh, in October. But these, these uh, schedules, everything done three, four months prior. I mean, it's unfortunate, but let's hope the weather god stays away and we could get some good cricket because I, I can sense some good cricket happening because lots of uh, negative stuff happening in Sri Lanka cricket. But this is the time where the boys and the management should put their hands up and, you know, uh, showcase what they got. Yes, uh, now let's move on to some uh, junior cricket. The under-19s finished the Asia Cup in Bangladesh as runners-up. Unfortunately, they lost to India by 144 runs in that final on last Sunday. Uh, some top performers uh, from that series, uh, Numan Di Fernando was impressive with the bat. He scored 195 runs in five games and uh, Shashika Dulshan picked up 11 wickets uh, in five games uh, with a brilliant economy rate of just 2.94. Your thoughts on uh, the performance of the team in that tournament? I mean, team-wise, I thought I'm very happy to see it. I mean, if you, if you ask me personally, even before we left, if, if, we, if we get to finals and lose it, I'll take that because to be really honest to myself, I never thought we'll get that far, especially beating Bangladesh, Pakistan, who are much fancied. And beating them, being unbeaten until we got to the final, that's a huge achievement. It's totally, I mean, you know, full appreciation should go to the management as well as the players. They played their hearts out. But in the final, I thought, uh, you know, always in the under 19s, when it comes to age level cricket, they are very strong. I mean, it showed, I mean, I, I personally watched the game. And the way they batted, they're so matured, really, in the game. You know, they, they were going quite slow and the last 10 overs they scored more than 100 runs. That's, that's how mature the Indian under 90 levels are, always been. From us, our days onwards, they have been very strong. I mean, as far as our team performs concerned, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant coming to the finals. And these two boys, Numanita Fernando and Shashika Dulsha, I mean, you know, what can we say? 2.94 uh, economy, that shows, uh, you know, he, the boy got something in him. So, I think this is, this is the stepping stone to build up something big. So I know a few tours are coming up. This conference should be taken, and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll build up something. And uh, by 2020, for the 2020 World Cup, we'll be much uh, better prepared. Yes, the Under 19s had a decent series uh, in white ball cricket against the Indians as well. And uh, Bangladesh Under 19 will arrive in Sri Lanka on the 13th of October, and uh, they will be playing two youth tests and uh, five youth ODIs uh, against the Sri Lanka Under 19s. Uh, the venues uh, for that series will be NCC, Katunaika. Damulda for the ODIs and uh, they will finish off the tour uh, in Katunayak again. And uh, moving on to the question of the week. Uh, this week's question is against whom did Dinesh Chandimal make his highest ODI score? And uh, from last week's question, who top scored in the seven match ODI series between Sri Lanka and England in 2014? The answer is Kumar Sangakkara. And uh, we have a winner from last week. Uh, it is Samir Sampath from Anuradhapura. Uh, you are the winner, Samir Sampat, and uh, we also li would like to make a rem reminder to all of you to submit your answers on our Facebook page or on our website and not on YouTube, uh, as it is a bit of a struggle with identification. And uh, that will be it uh, from us uh, for this week's uh, Around the Wickets. Uh, we'll be looking forward to a great week of ODI cricket between Sri Lanka and England. And until then, it's a goodbye from us. Yeah.